Hi everybody, welcome to Plubberscar Lighthouse. Lovely little lighthouse just on the, just on the mouth of the River Loon. Lake District Fells in the background and as you can see the sun's setting. Hoping to get a picture later when the tide's a little bit further out. But for now we're going to go over that way to Cockersands Abbey and try and get a shot on there. Okay, so that's Cockersands Abbey. I put some info up about it. I know it's really old, but because fields full of cows, I'm not going to chance running through them or getting too close to get the info. There is an info board there, but I've got the shot lined up. I've focused it in. I've got a thirteenth of a second F10 ISO 100 focused into brickwork. Where's my timer gone? I haven't got my timer on. There we go. Two second timer. 75 300 lens is at around 180 ish. And there we go. It's going to be more of a record shot. It's a bit of a nemesis for me, is this place. The lights never seems to be right, although it looks like it's falling well on there. So I'll see what that comes out like. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to head back over onto Edget Water and get a composition with the lighthouse in, ready for the sun to drop. The colour started coming now, but once it drops a bit more, should be some lovely colour in background. So the sun's about another 20 minutes off setting, but I've got a nice composition here, I'm going to focus stack it, I've got the lighthouse in the distance, uh, I think that's black comb behind the lighthouse, some lovely orange in the sky, and I'm going to focus stack for the big round rock that you can see just near that, them bit, of, them bit of seaweed, last bit of rocks you can see before water, so I'm going to get them now before anything changes. on the rock 50th of a second F10 two second timer and there we go looks lovely nice orange portrait mode to try and cut the sun off the edge of the frame it's so just going to blow it out but a lovely composition and what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get another one here if it comes nice I'm going to go for landscape if the light gets a bit softer and then I'll uh, head back and try and get one from a bit nearer the car with some more rocks in, hopefully, depending on what the uh, sun decides to do. In fact, that doesn't really work. It's too far away to use my 1740. It's got 17, 75, 300 and it doesn't quite work. It might, in fact, I'm gonna leave it. It may work as the sun gets below the horizon. Right, sun's getting a lot lower now. Sky is lovely. I've put my smaller lens on now, my 1740. I'm gonna get a one-way lighthouse in the distance and a bit of the uh, seaweed and stones here, they may be slightly blurred but it'll just take it out to the lighthouse and then once the sun's gone I'm going to try a portrait hopefully get the sky lighting up above, there's a couple of clouds above it but let's get this one first I'm going this time weirdly enough, same again, F10, 50th of a second ISO 100 let's lift it up a bit and get the uh, the lighthouse and the sun on the top third. I 
Lovely. Very nice. So let's get her in portrait mode. Not ready. Sun's just about to set, about two thirds of the way down. That sky above it is absolutely amazing. Some lovely wispy clouds up there, all going golden orange. So I'll just get a few more. There'll be a, one of the lighthouse in silhouette, red sky behind it. Absolutely beautiful evening, absolutely stunning. Get a couple more. Down to 25th of a second now, F10 still. Lights going. I think these are going to be a square crop, get rid of some of this foreground rock and leave a little bit, get rid of some of it and get rid of the blank sky above the clouds there. But yeah, that's absolutely beautiful. Just like to say thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it again, as usual, as Ethan's thumb. And subscribe, that would be great. Lovely evening out here. Plover Sky Lighthouse near Cockerham Sands. And yep, that's it. The sun's about to go, and so am I. So I've come out again to Plover Scar day after. Best of the sunsets from yesterday. Well, we're Tony there behind me, and we're just trying to chase the tide and get a decent shot. In which case I'm going to get out of Tony's way because he's lining one up now and the tide's coming in pretty quick. I decided to uh, voice over this bit because of the wind noise, absolutely terrible. Blowing again, it doesn't look, it doesn't look too bad at all there. But yeah, it's quite a noisy bit. What I'm doing, this is a, an exposure, it's a lovely angle. There's a boulder and then the lighthouse in the distance. But then, as you can see, just to the left, which I'm going to sort out, just put this on as an example, is a HM2 power station. Lovely backdrop. So then I moved to the to the edge of the water as it was coming in. Set up a shot with the power station, mountains behind, not power station, Plover Scar, mountains, Lakeland Mountains behind. The lighthouse is actually hiding the power station. I've set that behind it this time. Lead in line with a form on the water, the rocks. It's a double exposure, focus stacked with the form line of the edge of the water that you can see there as it's getting closer and closer to me. Focused on the foreground, got that in. Focused on the lighthouse and two second exposure, took another one. And yeah, it's worked out quite lovely, is that one?